Sarasota Orchestra. Things are happening. Let me share more. Hi everyone. My name is Mike Rennick. I'm the team lead, the senior broker of Team Rennick, part of that gr great Mangrove Realty Associates family. Welcome to another edition out and around Florida's West Coast with Mike. This is all my promise to share with you the aspects of the folks who live here, play here, and work here. My guest again this morning is Mr. Stephen Reed. Good morning, hey. Steve. Good morning. A little bit cool this morning. Yeah. But it's nice. Oh, it's beautiful. So, um, Steve is the owner and publisher of the Longboat Key News and the Sarasota City News, along with his wife, who is operating the technical capabilities here for us today. And we appreciate Melissa's hard work. So, thank you. So, orchestra, why are we here? What's going on? The orchestra is back in the news. Now, um, this is really a big deal, and I sort of, it, uh, at least, to the public, it came out of nowhere. As you know, and as we spoke about last week, we have a new mayor, Mayor Hagen Brody. We have two new commissioners. Mm -hmm. Got Tom Barwin gone. Well, one of the last big acts of Tom Barwin was sort of behind the scenes. He was working with the orchestra, trying to help them find a new home. They desperately want to find a, a place to expand, to consolidate their operations. We're sitting here at their current, I guess you could call it headquarters, over at the Bayfront, next to the Van Wazel. And the problem is, is they have their operations spread all throughout here in Manatee County. They have rehearsal halls, they have choral halls, they have performance centers, they have different performances held in different venues. So they want to consolidate, they want to expand, they want to look to the future. They they, do. They've outgrown the facilities they have. They've outgrown and they're also looking at the timeline, which is the city is undertaking this Bay project, mm -hmm. which is a monumental re, uh, rebirth of 53 acres here. Now, the orchestra did not want to be part of that project because they're afraid of, of the rising tides and sea level rise and some of their big institutional donors don't want to give the kinds of millions of dollars to a project on the bayfront so they eyeballed Payne park two years ago okay. and barwin was a proponent of it turned into a huge battle in city hall mm -hmm. the city commission after hundreds of residents a petition of uh, over 1800 people against it voted five four to one to take Payne Park off of the site of potential spots. Okay. The bottom line is the orchestra needs about seven acres there. Okay. They want to use the county parking garage, and they thought, oh, this would be a good spot. We'll rebuild tennis. That got tennis people upset, neighborhood people upset, traffic issues. But then Hagen, what was it, um, two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, said, let's bring it back. Let's bring this issue of the orchestra at Payne Park back to the table. It's going to come full center in front of the commission again at their February, I mean, their um, next commission meeting. Okay. And um, this could happen. This is back on. Are there other sites they're looking at, or is it pretty they much did. Payne Park again? That, like I uh, mentioned, that was one of Barwin's last acts. Barwin spent last summer, the, the city produced a report of about a half dozen other sites that included Robards Arena. If you drive around, you know there's some land over near the Mini Mart near Ringling and Tunnel. Mm -hmm. There's some big, big land that they have fairs and right. events there. That was another spot they thought of. There's a spot up on the North Trail. If you go on North 41 before you get to University on the right, okay. the city owns some big tracks there. For various reasons, None of those have worked. I mean, it's easy to find land, but they needed to work from traffic, from noise, from parking, the everything. demographics of their community. In the backdrop, and why this is so important to the community and Hagen Brody and, and everyone really, no one wants to see the orchestra leave. And then there's that sort of that magic word that always spells disaster for the city of Sarasota, and that's Lakewood Ranch. They could go to Lakewood Ranch. And there's That's the threat. Talks. There's been some talks about that, right? Yeah, yeah. But Lakewood Ranch is like the other, the other guy well, or the other gal. I'm going over there. So and for folks get... that, are, that are watching that may not know, Lakewood Ranch is actually part of Bradenton. Right. It's not its own city, but it's not part of Sarasota. Well, it's That's it's my it's, point. it's part of Manatee and Sarasota right. County. Right. But it's it's impossible. That most I hate to say it, but the orchestra is about downtown, upscale island people, people who love this refined classical music. It's not cheap to go to an orchestra performance. No. So these are things, they wanna keep their demographic and crowds. So we really wanna keep them in the city. I think the right place is in the city. 
but there's Lakewood Ranch, and and they and the city is feeling the sting of the aquarium is re being rebuilt out there. Mm -hmm. The players, which is currently across the street, is building a, you know, is set to move out there, mm -hmm. and we don't want to see as the city continues to grow lose any of our cultural yep. amenities. Right. So. This is a huge issue. We will be covering it like crazy at Longbow Key News, Sarasota City News. And so the meetings come. The next meeting they're going to have some discussion. So we also want to come back here. We on want this to show come back, yeah, and keep everyone up to date. So this is all part of some of the latest and greatest. I use the word controversy, but it's all about the benefit of Sarasota. Is our planners and our, our elected officials are wrestling with what can they do to keep our assets. And there's and also, so much going on. It pays to stay informed because. Uh, uh, they're, they're, it, it's all up in the air, and, and decisions made now will affect the city for decades. So we'll come back with an update down the road. Yeah. Steve, thank Let's you. Let's do it. You're amazing. Thank Thanks, you. Mike.